Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Excellent. It's very genial. Okay. Ready for a new week, for a new class. Okay, very good. Welcome one more time to your English class with Inglés Corporativo, right? We are in this module today. This We are in our eighth class. Okay, and um, remember tonight with the attendance, I'm going to ask you one question. And the question is, what did you do on your weekend? Okay, what did you do on the weekend? So in on my weekend, um, what I did is that on Saturday, I went to have breakfast with my wife as we always do on Saturday mornings because I work in the afternoon. So we go for breakfast together to spend time together to talk. And after that, we went for a massage on Saturday morning to our for for a relaxing massage. Yeah, it was good on Saturday morning. Then in the afternoon, well, I had to work. I worked uh, during the afternoon until 5 p.m. And on Sunday, well, we woke up late on Sunday. Um, we watched uh, I watched the game uh, of uh, France versus Spain in the morning at noon my son uh, cooked lunch he prepared a barbecue and in the afternoon we watched the game El Salvador versus Costa Rica. So that was my weekend. Oh, and in the evening, my wife made pupusas and my daughter and her family with my granddaughter came to visit us. So it was a very nice weekend. Okay, what about you? What did you do on your weekend? That is the question for tonight, okay? So let's get started with Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Is she here? Not yet, okay. I'm gonna ask her later. Ana Delmi Herrera. Is Ana Delmi here? Not yet, okay. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Not here. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Just on time. Okay, Angel, I'm asking a question tonight. As I told you on Friday, I was going to ask you tonight, how was your weekend or what you did? What did you do? on your weekend can you tell us angel what did you do on your weekend angel sorry teacher i'm asking uh, my weekend and saturday on to to morning is 
relax in the house and uh, afternoon and enjoy and go to to work, work. Uh, last night mm -hmm. and Sunday is work today. <laughs> Okay. All day. All day. All day. It was it was busy in your restaurant on Sunday. And to mix and bar in the restaurant. Okay. Okay, good. So it's a restaurant and a hotel. And an hotel, see? Ah, okay, very good. Okay, Angel, thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Carolina Jamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. So, what about your weekend? What did you do on your weekend? Uh, my weekend went like this. Uh, Saturday uh, morning, I went, I went to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Then in afternoon, I was cleaning at home mm -hmm. uh, and helping to fix it in my mini garden. Uh, okay. Then on Sunday, I got up a light late and had a late breakfast. Okay. And then I started cleaning. Um, finally, I watch the television in the afternoon with my mother and my husband. I had dinner and arranged arrang uh, my jeans and, and my clothes for this day and to sleep finish ah, okay okay very good thank you caroline claudia guadalupe arias present teacher okay welcome so tell us about your weekend claudia uh, my weekend was very good teacher um Saturday I went to long to lunch with my co-worker out of the Puerto La Libertad. Oh good. And on Sunday in the morning I went to mass with my family. Then to eat pupusas on the planet de render. Oh delicious. Okay. <laughs> In the afternoon, we were watch TV, the play football soccer, the selector. Ah, okay, okay, and okay. Uh -huh. yes. In the in night, uh, relaxed. Relaxed. Okay, very good. Thank you, Claudia. You're welcome, teacher. Now, Claudia Yvette Samayoa. Present teacher. Hi, Claudia. Hi. So, how was your weekend? What did you do? Um, my weekend in, in Saturday, I went visit my father and my brother in Sonsonate. Mm. In Sunday, in my house, every morning, in, in afternoon, I sleeping. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome, Hilda, teacher. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Good evening, Hilda. So, Good evening, teacher. How was your weekend? What did you do? On uh, Saturday in morning, I went to the shopping and later I cook 
cook it. I cook. And Sunday, I was, I visited my best friend. And the rest of the time, uh, I'm relaxed. The, I'm relaxed. <laughs> Okay. That's all my weekend. <laughs> and what happened with the atoll? I cook the atoll dish. Ah, but you don't say it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, only atoll? Did you make tamales or riguas or? Anything else? Yeah, atole and tamales. Atole, atole and tamales. tamales okay, very good. Yes. Thank you. Now, Irma de Los Angeles. You're welcome, teacher. Flores. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your weekend, Irma? Um, I was... Um, Watch TV. <laughs> uh -huh. um, I was the cleaning the house. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Only. <laughs> Only? Okay. Ah, yes. oh, but you you were not in your bedroom only no 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 bed no bedroom <laughs> okay very good now you are free yes excellent i, I was i free <laughs> okay jessica rosemary olmedo present teacher Hello, Jessica. How was your weekend? What did you do? Okay, teacher. My weekend it was go. Saturday in the morning, I rest. In the afternoon, I went to the cinema with my friends. And at night, I went for work to the park with my family. And Sunday, the morning, I went to church. And in the afternoon, I went visit my grandparents. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you. Joanna Beatriz Orellana. Yes, teacher. <coughs> and my weekend was very tighter because Saturday in the morning I made a video. In the afternoon I met with my classmate. At night I ate pupusa. That uh, was a good part of my day. On Sunday in the, in the morning, I don't remember. But in the afternoon, I watched uh, El Salvador versus Costa Rica. And I feel and I feel sad because we lost again. One yeah. Two. Yes, it was terrible. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Johanna. Karina Melissa Estrada. Hi, teacher. Hi, Karina. How was your weekend? Night, teacher. Okay, what did you do? Okay, on um, Saturday in the morning, I <laughs> go to my job and work. In the afternoon, I have a meeting with my family. And at night, I um, saw a movie with my my sister. And sorry, teacher, but I have a dog. Ah, <laughs> a <little okay>. dog. <laughs> and um, Saturday, 
the morning and go to the shop. And in the afternoon, I wash my clothes. And only that. That's it? Okay, very good. Thank you. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Linda Stephanie, not here. Okay. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Good night, teacher. Good evening, Miguel. Good evening. Yeah. How was your How weekend? You? I'm good. Tell us about your weekend. Uh, my weekend was. Uh, my weekend was uh -huh. What happened? I don't hear you. just me no we cannot hear you maybe later i'll be back to you later Very ah okay well i lost him we lost him Uh, Nelson Ivan Alfaro. Present teacher. Hi, Nelson. Uh, how was your weekend, Nelson? My weekend was relaxed. I stayed in my house, sleeping, and watching TV. Uh huh. Only that? Yes. You sleep 48 hours? I don't think so. Yes, because every week in the work, I need to sleep. <laughs> but you don't sleep 48 hours. Come on, yes, tell us a couple of things you did. Okay, Olga Marleni Gomez. In teacher, present. Okay, hello. How was your weekend? What did you do? Uh, my family and I were doing homework and watching movies and in the afternoon. I went shopping at the supermarket that was on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And Sunday, on Sunday, uh, we got up uh, late and went to the park in the afternoon and so relax. Oh. And the night, and, and the night, other other time watching TV. Okay. Very good. Senaida America Dominguez. Senaida. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh -huh, Senaida. My uh, weekend was very tired because um, we have food the hotel. I work at night and change the time to change the schedule today. Um, it's very, very uh, difficult for me because I sleep only two hours. 
Mm -hmm. Wow. And only that is because I work for weekend. Ah, okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Silvia Suleyma Rodriguez. Good evening. Good evening, Silvia. Saturday in the afternoon. In the afternoon, my family and I were to ensemble the uh ensemble together a post puzzle. Ah. Eh, is eh, oh, eh, the puzzle have one thousand Piece. Ah. Be very difficult. Yeah. Because only completed a uh, twenty percent. No, only. <laughs> yes, only. Uh -huh. Only that the whole weekend. Um. It Sunday, I was staying in my house all day in the postle. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Silvio Enrique Cortez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So, how was your weekend? What did you do? Um, my Saturday is, is, was uh, happy. I, I worked. Uh, all day and finish too late, uh, midnight. And but uh, Sunday I went to the church. Later I I was to buy a, a fish and cooks. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, noon I watched soccer match Spain France. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally I. Watch the soccer of Selecta and uh, lost the game. <laughs> yeah, this, the Sunday is was uh, was was very very relaxed. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos Alberto Melendez. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. What did you do on your weekend? Uh, my weekend. It was very cool. Again, we celebrate with friends, just bashing the friends. Mm. And we also cook um, paper, papers, chili papers, <laughs> writing with cheese. Um, and someday I made repairs in the house. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Good. Then Carla Veronica Suria. Present teacher. Uh -huh. Tell us about your weekend. Nice. Uh, on, some, on Saturday, I wash the clothes, cleaning the house, and, and make homework with my son. Uh, on Sunday, I get up very late. And then I go to the supermarket. E in the afternoon, I, visit, I visited my grandmother and pass time with my family. Okay. And then it's Monday again. Yeah. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Well, just let me make some comments about this first activity. Uh, let me share the board to, to talk a little bit about this because some of you are using was in an unnecessary form. For example, when you say I 
Some of you said something like this. I was go, uh, por decir algo, I was go to the park. Es decir, como que me están formando el pasado con was, como si fuera un auxiliar. Y me usan el verbo en presente. ¿Ya? Algunos o decían, eh, I was shopping. Que si lo que quieren decir es, yo estaba comprando, eso es, no me parece que eso es lo que querían decir sino que eh, yo fui a comprar o algo así y, y con palabras así o I was cleaning a menos que si lo que me quiere decir yo estuve limpiando o okay, que I was cleaning verdad pero si lo que quieren es usarlo como para decir bueno esto en pasado pero pongo el verbo eh, eh, Tengan cuidado ahí. Por ejemplo, en el primer caso, ¿qué sería lo correcto? En vez de decir, I was go to the park. ¿Cuál es lo correcto? I went to the park. I went to the park. ¿Verdad? Recuerden que en las oraciones afirmativas en pasado, el verbo es el que nos forma el pasado. Vamos a usar el verbo principal en pasado. Si lo que me quieren decir, yo fui a comprar, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo diríamos eso? ¿Cómo diríamos yo fui a comprar? I went. I went shopping. shopping. ¿Verdad? O yo limpié, yo limpié la casa. I clean. clean the house. ¿Verdad? Yes. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, en este tipo de pasado, cuando yo les estoy preguntando específicamente qué hicieron, no les pregunté qué estuvieron haciendo. No, qué hicieron. Les estoy pidiendo un, una oración en pasado. Simple past. Tenemos que usar los verbos en simple past. Ok. Yo comí pupusas, por ejemplo. No, no estoy recordando exactamente las frases. Solo estoy poniendo ejemplos de la manera en que usaron algunos la estructura. Algunos, eh, a veces sucede el error que ponen I was eight y me ponen el was y luego el verbo en pasado o dice I was it como si eso convirtiera la oración en pasado y eso no es correcto no lo correcto es yo comí pupusas I ate pupusas I ate pupusas verdad eh, otra cosita que la mayoría lo usaron bien pero algunos no, es que me decían in Saturday, por ejemplo. Y cuando hablamos de días, usamos on. ¿Verdad? On Saturday. Incluso on the weekend. Se dice on. Um, otra cosita, bueno, usualmente cuando hablamos de lavar ropa, en inglés el verbo es do the laundry. ¿Verdad? Entonces el pasado sería I did the laundry. Um, otra también que me usaban es in the night. Y eh, recordarles que si decimos in the morning. Sí, es correcto. Vamos a poner acá. 
In the morning, es correcto. También in the afternoon, es correcto. In the evening, es correcto. Pero no se dice in the night. ¿Cómo se dice? At night. At, at, at night. night. Correcto. Es una at excepción. Night. At night. ¿Verdad? Bien, entonces, eh, cuidadito, cuidado con eso, ¿no? In the morning, yes. In the afternoon, in the evening. Pero es at night. At night. Um, ok. ¿Cómo decimos toda la mañana? All morning. All morning, correcto. ¿Verdad? Lo anoté porque alguien dijo everything morning. ¿Verdad? Usando el todo, pero no es ese todo acá. All morning, all uh, afternoon, so... All, usamos all. All day. Las, quieren decir todo el día. Pueden decir eh, all day long. Todo el día, ¿no? All day long. Ok. Pero sí, esto de formar las oraciones en pasado, por favor, recuerden que. Eh, no abusemos del was. El was no, lo, no me lo estén combinando con otros verbos. Que, que incluso esta forma, uh, que es lo que se llama past continuous, cuando usamos was going, I was eating, I was working. Eh, no uh -huh. recuerdo si ya se vio en los módulos anteriores, pero eso es otra, otra forma de hablar de pasado, de os cuando estamos hablando de actividades que ya se hicieron, que quedaron terminadas en el pasado, ¿verdad? Que las iniciamos en el pasado y terminaron en el pasado, usamos el simple past, que es esta forma que está acá arriba, ¿verdad? Esta forma que está acá es simple past, ¿verdad? El verbo en pasado, directamente el verbo en pasado ok y cuál es la forma negativa de esto solo para recordar como digo yo no fui al parque I didn't I didn't go to the park exacto I, I didn't I didn't go to the park. ¿Verdad? Uh, yo no fui a comprar. Yo no fui de compras. ¿Ya? Yeah. I didn't go shopping. Yo no limpié la casa. I didn't clean the house. ¿Verdad? El verbo en estas oraciones va en su forma básica, ¿no? ¿Por qué? Porque estamos usando el didn't acá. ¿Ok? Bueno, vamos a seguir Haciendo este ejercicio, tiene que haber más fluidez en esas frases, en ese uso del pasado, en ese uso del presente, en ese uso del futuro, que son términos, son, son tiempos que ya los vieron, ¿verdad? Y ya tienen que usarlos con más fluidez. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna pregunta? Okay, teacher. Sí, teacher. ¿Por qué Oli, Every, no? 
Porque si usted dice every day, está diciendo cada día. No me está diciendo todo el día. Ya, si usted dice everything, está diciéndome todo hablando de cosas. Everything. ¿Ve? Si usted me dice everyone, está hablando de personas. Every one. Cada uno. ¿Verdad? Sí, cada uno, diciéndome todos, ¿verdad? En ese sentido, todos, cada uno, ¿no? Every eh, place, todo lugar, cada lugar, ¿no? Entonces, ya. Okay, teacher, thank you. Ok. Uh, any other question? Recuerden que el was solamente es el pasado del verbo to be. ¿Verdad? El was solo es el pasado del verbo to be. Yo estuve. ¿Verdad? Tú estuviste ser o estar. O yo fui de, de ser, no fui de, de ir. ¿Verdad? Ok, eso es todo. El, el uso del was en, en ese sentido en, en pasado, ¿no? Pasado simple, ¿no? I was, you were, so. Cero estar. Yo fui, yo estuve, tú estuviste, tú fuiste, él fue. Ya en otras formas verbales, cuando leemos en pasado, vamos a usar el verbo. El verbo en pasado. ¿Ok? Como en este caso. Ok. Very good. Now, uh, I want to continue with the, the practice. We didn't finish with the practice of uh, there is and there are, or the questions, no? Is there, are there? Okay, so let me go here. Uh, give me a moment, let me prepare this here. Oh. It's this one. Okay, we're going to do this because I want you to practice again speaking, okay? Speaking practice. So remember that you are here not just to learn to read and to write. You know, you need to speak to communicate, okay? Okay, look at this practice. So we have different questions with is there or are there? For example, let me practice with one of you, uh, let's see, tonight, what date is tonight? Tonight is 11. Who is 11 in the list? Hilda, Hilda Xiomara. Hilda? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, let me ask you one of these questions, Hilda. Let me see, just to practice, okay? This one. Look. Is there a football stadium in your city? Where, where do you live, Xiomara? I live in Paraíso de Osorio. Paraíso de Osorio, in La Paz. Okay. Xiomara, is there a football stadium in Paraíso de Osorio? Yes, there is. Ah, okay. Very good, very good. Now, uh, let me ask to Karina Melissa. Karina Melissa. One, Karina Melissa. Two, Karina Melissa. Absent. Okay, uh, Mayra Roxana. Yes, teacher. Hi, Mayra. Let me ask you. Sorry, teacher. Pero okay. tenía ahí problemas con la señal. Okay. I'll go back to you later. Okay, Mayra. Okay. Is yes. there a TV in your room, Mayra? Yes. Uh, um, there is a TV in my room. 
Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, Karina. Uh, are there three rooms in your house? Yes, teacher. Ah, yes. Yes, are three rooms in my house. Yes, there are. Aye, there yes, are. there are three rooms in my house. In my house. Okay. So mm -hmm. this is what you are going to do in, in your groups. I will send you again to your groups. We didn't have enough time last Friday. So I'll give you uh, five minutes and then we're going to come back and we're going to practice here just to, but the idea is speak, 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 okay? And try to give complete answers. So for example, are there three, three rooms in your house? Yes, there are three rooms in my house, okay? Practice, all right? Teacher, is a short question or? or use a compliment these are short questions actually if you say yes there are that is enough okay yeah. yes there is that is enough but i'm asking you to give a, a more complete answer just to practice okay 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 let me form the groups we are uh -huh. let's form groups of of three. Okay, join your groups and I'm going to put the exercise in WhatsApp again. See you in like five, seven minutes.
Me what is wardrobe? Wardrobe. Teacher have a question. When I when I want to. Cuando quiero responder en negativo con el there are es así la estructura. No there are not. Yeah. No there are not. You say no there are not any photos in my phone. Y para Liz, también, no, there is not. Uh -huh. No, there is not any photo singular in my phone. Okay. Okay. I don't know what is Bradford. Uh -huh. Sí. ¿Y a quién le pidieron la clave? ¿Cómo se ¿Cómo Guarda ropa. No, I don't. I don't have. No, there isn't. <laughs> yeah, but you must be asking questions and responding, okay? Ya la habíamos preguntado. me la habían hecho. Ah, bueno, vaya. Okay. Okay. See you later. See you, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello. Whom? Are you working? Yes. Yeah, practice. Continue. Just a lot of questions. <laughs> Okay. Practice, practice. Then, there are, Karina, there yes. are two bottles of meal in your friend. No, there are No, there are Yes. Practice, practice a lot. Um, Jessica. Uh, Cuba. Um, yes, are there are there aren't uh, five candies in my school bag? Uh, yes, are there or are aren't? No. Yes, are there a positive order? No. Yes, are there or yes, there are. Yes, there are. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Okay, okay. Okay. Is there a lunchbox? Um, yes, is there a lunchbox? Again? Uh, uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, um, is there... Mm -mm. No, me confundí. Es, yes, there is a, a lunchbox. Ah, okay. Very good. Um, is there a bottle with water? Ask. Is there, is there a lamp oh. on your desk? Ah, yes, there in my room, see, two lamps. Okay. Another question. Yes, yes. Okay. The receptionist. Mm. Did you receive to the client? Yes, always. <laughs> All the day. It's very good. Yes, I need to speak English. Yeah. It's difficult for you to speak uh, with uh, the American? Um, impossible. Impossible. Yes, yes. Impossible. There is any. Only that, I don't know, Walter. 
Ah, y otro es verde. Verde. No más decir, no primero, sino que de Arens. De Toy. Ajá. Oh, my pet. Ajá. De Toy. En. En. En la cama de mi hija, si hay. <laughs> In the bed that my son. Oh my dad. Okay. My yes, dad. Please. Yes. <laughs> Aquí cuando pregunta, are there Okay, welcome back. We are going to practice, okay? Quickly, I want you to respond quickly, okay? The same questions. Let me start. Carla, Carla Surya. Uh, is there much snow in your country? Carla. Is there much snow in your country? Yes, teacher. No tengo la imagen presente ahorita. I'm asking you a question. You don't need the image. I'm asking you a question. Okay, okay. think about that. Uh, Carlos Alberto. Uh, is there a yard in your house? Yes, there are. Is there a yard in your house? Yes, there is. Ah, okay. How big is it? Is is it big? Small? Small. This is very small. Very small. Okay, good. Um, Silvio, Enrique, uh, is there a cake in your fridge tonight? No. There is, there is a uh, tres leches, three milk. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, but you must must finish. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. No, there isn't any. You could say uh, there is a uh, tres leches. Okay. 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 Very good. Uh, let's continue with Silvia. Silvia Suleima. Uh, are there five cinemas in your city? No, they aren't. No, they aren't? Pardon, no, there aren't. Okay, no, there aren't. Good. Zenaida, uh, is there a lamp on your, on your desk? No, 
there aren't lamps. Uh, is there a lamp on your desk? There is. There isn't lamp. Okay, there isn't a lamp or there isn't any lamp. Okay, good. Uh, Olga. Um, let's see. Are there ten desks in your classroom? Oh, there aren't. Okay, there aren't. There are. I repeat the question. Are there ten desks in your classroom? Okay, no, there aren't. I there are five. There are five. Ah, okay. Um Nelson. Are there two SIM cards in your cell phone? No, they aren't. They aren't? No. No, there aren't. Okay. No, there aren't. Okay, good. Um, Miguel Angel. Are there four boxes in your wardrobe? Miguel Angel is here. No. Uh huh. No, there aren't in in my bathroom. Okay. No. No, uh, no there are no there aren't four boxes in my bathroom. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Myra, are there five rules on your desk? No, there aren't five rules in my desk. Okay, rulers, I'm sorry. Okay, good, very good. Um, Linda, are there big mountains in your country? Is Linda here? No. Uh, Karina, Melissa, are there big mountains in your country? No, there aren't. Okay. In my okay, good. Thank you. Let's see, Joanna. Are there many flowers in your house? Yes, teacher, are there many flowers? Yes. There are many flowers in my garden. Okay, very good. Uh, let's continue with Jessica. Uh, is there a bottle with water in your bag? No, there, no, ah. there isn't. Ah, there isn't. Okay, good. Sounds better. That's uh, well, at least uh, I, I always do it like that. So, sounds better if you say, No, there isn't any, no, there aren't any. Sounds better, actually. Okay. So it's like uh, you are emphasizing. Está dando un poco de más énfasis. No, no hay ninguna. ¿verdad? No, there isn't any. No, there aren't any. Okay. Uh, let's continue with Irma. Are there 10 eggs in your fridge, Irma? Yes, there are 10 eggs in the fridge. Okay, good. Uh, Xiomara, is there, yes, is there a big park in your city? Yes, there is a big park in my city. Perfect. Um, Claudia Yvette, are there three toys on your bed? Claudia, Yvette, 
Are there three toys on your bed? Not there. Claudia Guadalupe, are there three toys on your bed? Uh, no, there, there aren't three toys in my bed. Okay. <laughs> Let's continue with Caroline Jamilet. Yes. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Is there a camera on your cell phone? Yes, there is a camera, a mobile, mobile phone. Okay, good. Uh, Angel, is Angel here? Not anymore. Ana Marisol. Yes. Is there a mirror on your wardrobe? Yes, there is a mirror in my drop. Uh, I don't know. Wardrobe. In my drop. Wardrobe. Yes. Wardrobe. On on my wardrobe. On my drop. Uh, sorry, teacher. Wardrobe. <laughs> Wardrobe. wardrobe in yes. my wardrobe okay very good um okay uh anna tell me um anna tell me are there three rooms Black. in your house three rooms yes Yes, there are three rooms in their house. Okay. And Alejandra. Yes, teacher. Uh, are there two bottles of milk in your fridge? Um, yes, uh, they, they, they are two. They. These, there are uh, two bottles of meal in my fridge. Fridge, fridge. fridge. Okay, fridge. very good, very good. Excellent. Any question, people, with this? No teacher. No teacher. No, okay, good. It is good to be spontaneous, okay? To improvise, very perfect. Okay, let's continue now with the second attendance. The second attendance, and then we're going to go to tonight's lesson. Uh, Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Okay, Anadelmi Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present teacher. Angel Alexander. Guardado, Carolina Jamilet Hernández. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Present teacher. Claudia Ivette Samayoa. What happened, Claudia? I see your photo, but I don't hear you. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Good, Irma de los Ángeles Flores. Present teacher. Hi, Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Present teacher. Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Karina Melissa Estrada. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Mayra Roxana Hernández. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present, present. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Present. Olga Marleni Gómez. Present teacher. Zenaida América Domínguez. Present teacher. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Eh, Silvio Enrique Cortés. Present. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. And Carla Veronica Suria. Present. Okay, very good. Okay, let's go to our book tonight to make a 
practice the conversation. Okay, we. Uh, okay, Xiomara. Yes, teacher. Uh, 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 uh. What the number is the page? Let me tell you because we are going to move on a different okay. page 25. Page 23, we are going to study it tomorrow because the this and then the other, then the previous lesson. Okay, so tonight we're going to study lesson uh, on page 25. Mention you will be able to mention rules and prohibitions at your workplace. Mention rules and prohibitions at your workplace. Okay. Okay. Uh, we have a couple of questions here to discuss quickly. Uh, what are some rules in your company? Can you tell me some rules in your company? Come on, quickly. Okay. Don't. Okay, let's see. Karina, what did you say? Stay on time. To be on time. Okay. What else? Don't speak when are you job. Don't. When are you work? Okay. Don't talk with when you are at I work. Don't talk. Uh -huh. It's incorrect. Don't speak, teacher. No, no. You could no. you could use it. Don't speak. Okay. But um, okay. quiet. Okay. Another rule okay. that you be responsible. Be responsible. Use, use security shoes. Example. Use security shoes. Yeah. Shoes. Ah, okay. Be okay. punctuality. Be punctual. Okay. Be, be sure punctual. Don't, mm -hmm. don't eat. Don't eat in, in the work. Don't eat. Okay. In your don't workplace. Smoke. Don't smoke. Uh huh. Be late. Don't be late. Interesting rules. Okay, good. So, do you think it is important to follow rules? Yes. Yes. Yes, very important. Very important. Okay. Ah. Okay, how important from one to 10, how important is to follow rules? Eight. Eight? Oh, not a ten. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> ten. <laughs> Anna Marisol says ten. Uh -huh. Ah, we have a little rebel here. <laughs> okay, it's only two opinions here. Eight and ten. Nine. 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 <laughs> Nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Well, let's see. We are going to practice this conversation. Uh -huh. Let me share the screen with you. We have this conversation between. Okay, let me read it for you and let me record it for WhatsApp as well. So you can practice it later. Mm, okay. Good morning, Mr. Seal. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. 
Oh, okay. One more time. Pay attention to the pronunciation. Good morning, Mr. C. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company. So there is no excuse. And also it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, now let's practice. Please repeat after me. Good morning, Mr. C. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning Mr. C. I want, I want to know about the procedure with the new employee. <laughs> Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? I see. It is because of what happened. happened. Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. I you are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. You are right. right. It's also not allowed to use in work hours. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, let's see, some words. Teacher, yes? Esa pronunciation is algo difícil. What pronunciation? And the product, no, procedure. Procedure is right. The word. Yes. Procedures. 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 Yes. Ju. Procedures. Ju. Procedures. Yes. Procedures. Procedures. Caught. Cut, 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 allowed, 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 hours, 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 hours. Okay. Okay, teacher. I understand he, he, the other word, how he knew, he knew, yes, he knew, knew, he knew, about the AK, knew, I, the values, the values of, values, 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 
OK. Re uh, now you are Sandra and I am Mr. C, OK? No, 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 the opposite. I am Sandra and you are Mr. C. Okay, so let me get the arrow. So I begin. Good morning, Mr. C. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes, yes. yes. I understand. He knew the values of our company. So there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. You are right. It is also a lower to use the cell phone for work hours. Okay, okay, okay. Allowed. No allowed, no allowed. 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 Yeah. Allowed. Oh. Allowed. Okay. Now you are Sandra and I am Mr. C. You begin. One, two, three. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Mr. C. Well, he cannot continue with us. Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, very good. So now you are going to practice the conversation in pairs. And also you have to respond these questions about the conversation. What are some rules in Sandra's company? Number two, what is the problem with the new employee? And number three, are these rules similar to your companies? How? Okay. So let me send you to working groups in pairs, actually. So I will send you to work in pairs. Practice the conversation. Then uh, respond the three questions, okay? See you in 10 minutes.
Hola, hola. Hola, teacher. No, no, eres... no, no contesta. <ríe> sí, me está escribiendo ahí en el WhatsApp que no le escuchamos. Ok. Claudia, ¿nos escucha usted? Hola, Claudia. Si sí, algo pasa con su micrófono. Bueno, voy a mandar a Karina a trabajar con alguien más para que tal vez usted logre resolver. Me avisa, Claudia. Sí, por el WhatsApp, sí. Imagen de esa esquina, este es una. Está permitido fumar. Uh -huh. Ah, tú es el de Word. Ah, yo sé el teléfono. Amor. Sí, es, estas tres son. Word. Hour. Hour. The second. What, what, is, what is the problem with the new employee? Uh, he is sleeping in the work hour. And smoking. Smoking. Yes, porque dice, yes, oh, he, yeah. he was caught smoking. Smoking. Lo, yes. lo encontraron. <laughs> Yeah. Inside the company. Okay, the second. What is the problem with the new employee? Uh, he was caught smoking inside the company. He is smoking he, inside he, the company. He is smoking inside the company. It is not allowed. It's not allowed. In number three, are these rules similar? Inside in the company. It isn't allowed. What is the problem with the new employee? He was caught uh, smoking inside the company mm -hmm. and it's not allowed. Okay. What, what did you say? Oh. Eh, lo que le contesta Mr. C es Will he now continue with us again? Como que si no puede seguir con ellos. Pero ¿por qué? Well, the procedure well, he can you continue with 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 us? I see. It is because of what happened. Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company, and is is not allowed. I understand. 
He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. Solo, no. Sir. Sí, el del smoking. Eh, Pero es coche. Uh -huh. En en alguna empresa hay áreas que tienen para eso. Ah, sobre todo quizás como bueno de comida, algo así. Also. 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 Cell cell phone. Also, este no. es ius como ius 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 de use. cell phone in work War. hours 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 mm -hmm. okay sería you you are you are me. right uh, Okay, welcome back, people. Thanks, teacher. Okay, um, let's start with some some groups. Maybe not everyone tonight, but some of you. Okay, to present the conversation. So please. Ana Delmi and Johanna. Okay, teacher. Present the conversation. Okay, lights, camera, action. Okay, <laughs> good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Values, he cannot Continue with with this use. I see. Is it because of what happened? Happened it. <clears throat> yes, hit with canyon smoking incidents. Days company. Uh, and it is no eh, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Allowed. allowed allowed I understand he knew the values of our company so there is no excuse and also it is not allowed to sleep in work hours you are Right, it is also not allows to use the cell phone in work hours. 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 
Okay. Very good. Thank you. Irma and Olga. Okay, teacher. Lights, camera, action. One moment, one moment, one moment. <laughs> okay. Good morning, Mr. Sia. I want to know about the process with the with the new employer. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happening? Yes. He was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of your company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use cell phone in work hours. Perfect, very good. Uh, Hilda and Silvio. I'm here. Good. Lights, camera, action. Good morning, Mr. C. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see, is it because of what happened? Yes, he was caught smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He know the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also it is not allowed to sleep in World hours. You are all right. It's also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, very good. Thank you. Please, uh, Miguel Angel and Nelson. Yes. Lights, camera, action. Good morning, Mr. C. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes, he was cow smoking inside the company. It is not allowed. I understand. In, you know the value of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, very good. And um, let's see, Claudia Guadalupe and Silvia Suleima. Okay. Okay. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new. I see. Is it because of what happened? Perdón, Sil Silvia, que creo que se le cortaba, no la escuché. Podemos comenzar, Tisha. Okay, okay. One more time. Light okay. camera. Action. Good morning, Mr. Sea. I want to know about the procedures with the new employee. Well, he cannot continue with us. I see. Is it because of what happened? Yes, he was 
counts smoking inside the company and it is not allowed. I understand. He knew the values of our company, so there is no excuse. And also, is the, it is not allowed to sleep in work hours. You are right. It is also not allowed to use the cell phone in work hours. Okay, okay, very good. Quickly, just uh, review some words that I see that you are giving you trouble. Okay, so one is, um, this happened, happened. Um, a ver, este es un verbo regular y todos los verbos regulares, la mayoría terminan en ed. Recuerdan eso. Los verbos regulares, el pasado de los verbos regulares terminan en ed. Pero ya estudiaron de que ninguna de esas pronunciaciones se hace ed. O sea, es un error pronunciarlo ed, esta terminación. En todos los verbos regulares que terminan en, con ed, nunca se pronuncia ed. Nunca se dice cooked, nunca se dice walked. Nunca se dice happened, ¿verdad? Solo les recuerdo que hay tres sonidos eh, para esta terminación. Solo lo voy a recordar, eso ya lo vieron. No, uno es t, otro es d, y el otro es id. ¿Ok? Entonces, no, esta pronunciación, esta en particular es D. Happened. Happened. Lo mismo que esta. Allowed. Allowed. Ok. Pero nunca, 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 nunca. Ed. ¿Verdad? Todos los verbos en pasado que terminan en ed, porque son regulares, jamás se pronuncian ed. Ok, por favor. No importa si cometen, ok, si no es tan claro cómo termina, si termina con happened, o happened, o happened. Si se equivocan en alguno de esos tres, perfecto, ¿verdad? Van a ir aprendiendo. Pero que me digan happened, o que me digan walked, cooked, watched, eso no, por favor. Eso no, 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 no. ¿Me explico? Todos los verbos regulares que el pasado termina en ed, ninguno se pronuncia ed al final. Ninguno. All right. Si la mayoría son, termina con sonido t, se lo recuerdo. Los que terminan con sonido, los que esa terminación se pronuncia, t, ¿verdad? Son los verbos que terminan con sonido no vocal, no voice. Es decir, que terminan con un sonido que no se usa la garganta. Voiceless sound. Como walk. K, k. La garganta no se usa, las cuerdas vocales no se usan en la terminación de walk. De talk. ¿Verdad? Entonces, lo, todos los que terminan con un sonido que no incluye las cuerdas vocales es t. Walk, walked. Talk, talked. Stop, stopped. Y los que en este caso, como happen, que termina con sonido n o allow, ¿verdad? Que ese sonido final incluye las cuerdas vocales. Se hace con las cuerdas vocales. Uno pone la mano acá y siente una vibración. 
happen happened allow allowed ok es una forma de diferenciar entre la pronunciación y los que terminan en sonido t, verdad como a ver a ver cuál eh. Ah, no se me viene alguno, ninguno a la mente ahorita. Que terminan con sonido T. ¿Verdad? Uh, wait, por ejemplo, wait. Se le agrega la ED para el pasado y se dice waited. No se dice wait, waited. No se dice waited. Sino que esa ED se pronuncia como una sílaba extra id. Waited. Waited. Solo un recordatorio. Esto ya lo vieron. Eh, allowed happened. La pronunciación de esto. ¿Qué otra les puse por acá? Bueno, procedures. Eh, esta palabra. Understand. Understand. A ver, déjenme bajar acá. El énfasis de la palabra understand. ¿Dónde estaba? I understand. Me están diciendo algunos I understand. Y el énfasis va al final. I understand. Va acá al final. Ok. Understand. 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 La fuerza va al final. Ok. Este not allowed, is not allowed. ¿Para qué se usa? Bueno, como decía acá al principio, para hablar de rules and prohibitions. Rules and prohibitions. ¿Ok? Es lo que se nos menciona acá. Use is not allowed to talk about prohibitions that we have in a particular place. ¿Verdad? It's not allowed significa no es permitido. It's not allowed to smoke. It's not allowed to smoke inside the facilities. It's not allowed to take tools home. It's not allowed to drink alcoholic beverages. It's not allowed to use cell phones. It's not allowed to sleep in working hours. It's not allowed to run in any area of the company. Okay? So if you see, we use the uh, infinitive form of the verb. Esto es lo que se llama el infinitivo del verbo, ¿verdad? Que es el que lleva el to más el, el, la forma básica del verbo. ¿No? Porque si lo pronunciamos incluso en español. No es permitido fumar. No es permitido tomar o llevar. No es permitido beber. ¿Ok? So, it's not allowed to smoke. It's not allowed to take tools home. It is not allowed to drink alcoholic beverages. Prohibitions. So we are talking about prohibitions. Okay. Any question with this? Alguna pregunta con esto? No, teacher. No, teacher. Uh, Okay, what time is it? Okay, a couple of minutes. Um, bueno, mañana vamos a, si pueden avanzar en esto, o si no, piénsenlo y mañana lo van a hacer. Van a escribir a, la, a six line paragraph about the rules and prohibitions at your workplace using is not allowed to. Okay. Prohibitions at your workplace. So what things are not allowed to do in your company? Teacher. Uh-huh. Uh, question. Not, 
prohibición de algo que no debo. De, for example, is correct. It's no allowed to enter without uh, ID card. Okay. It's correct. Yeah. O sea, yes. No es permitido no, no, no llevar el, 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 el carnet de identificación. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your rules ¿verdad? and prohibitions. We talk about rules and prohibitions using is not allowed. Okay. So, uh, en eso, eh, trabajen en eso. Si no, les voy a dar un tiempo mañana, ¿verdad? Para hacerlo y, eh, y luego lo van a presentar. Okay. What are some things that are not allowed in your workplace? All right. Any question, people? Okay, let's take the last attendance tonight because it is not allowed to be too late. <laughs> okay. Vamos a empezar de, de abajo hacia arriba hoy, ¿verdad? Para que vayan a dormir más temprano algunos. Ready? Carla, Verónica, Suria. Present teacher. Thank you for attending. Have a good night. See you good tomorrow. Good night. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. Thank you. Good night. Silvio Enrique good Cortez. Night. Present. Good night. Okay. Good night. Silvia Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Good night. Zenaida America Dominguez. Present teacher. Okay. Have a nice night. You too. Good night. Olga Marleni Gomez. Present teacher. Okay. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Thank you. You too. Nelson Ivan Alfaro. Present. Okay. Good night, Nelson. Good night. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Present teacher. Present. Good night, Miguel Angel. Good night. Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Present teacher. Good night, Myra. Good night, teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Not anymore. Karina Melissa Estrada. Karina Melissa. Okay, good night, Karina. See you tomorrow. Joanna Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you for attending. See you tomorrow. See you. Jessica Rosemary Olmedo. Present teacher. Good night, Jessica. Irma de Los Angeles Flores. Present teacher. Okay, Irma. Have a good night. Good Hilda night. Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Good night, Xiomara. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Claudia Yvette Samayoa. Claudia Yvette, your microphone is not working. Type. Ok, good night, Claudia. Espero resuelva lo del micrófono para mañana. Claudia Ivette Guadalupe Arias. Claudia Ivette. <ríe> Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Combinó. <ríe> <ríe> good night, Claudia. Carolina Yamilet Hernández. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Eh, ¿Dónde vamos? Ángel Alexander Guardado. Se nos fue a dormir temprano. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Good night, Ana Marisol. See you tomorrow. Good night. Sí. Ana Delmi Herrera. Present, teacher. Good night, Ana Delmi. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present, teacher. Okay, good night, Alejandra. See good you night, tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. E -e 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 okay, Xiomara. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó, Xiomara?
Oh my God. Hi, teacher. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. Usted no me había dicho nada. Creí que hoy no iba a ver. <laughs> no, sí le dije. Cuando tomé la segunda asistencia, le dije. Vaya, no teacher. No, no me oyó. No, no le escuché. <laughs> <laughs> Qué bueno que regresó. Bien, ¿hay algo que quisiera que reforcemos? Eh, so que fíjese que en el examen, en la prueba número 7, he tenido un error y la he querido, cor la he corregido como tres veces, bueno, si no más, y no me da. Y creo ah. que la... No en sé, la... Eh, no En la tarea 7. Si no me equivoco, es la número 3. La número 3. O 4, creo. Sí, la 3. ¿Esta que estoy viendo acá? Un momento. No representa. Are there? Mm. No. Men... Hagámoslo, hagámoslo ahorita todo. Vamos a ver. Primero. Deje... Are there a meeting room in your company o is there a meeting room in your company? Is there. Okay. Number two. Are there many restrooms in your work or is there many restrooms? Are there? Okay. Are there enough representatives or is there enough representatives? Are there? Are there? Okay, ahora dice, to ask plural questions we use. Are there or is there? Plural are there. Are there. To ask singular questions we use, are there or is there? Is there. Veamos. Perfecto. Este es el ejercicio que usted me decía. No, teacher. Pues no es ese, es en el que se contesta. Es la seis entonces, que contestamos todas las preguntas, que se, que se escribe todo. Ah, exacto, este. Este. Yes. A ver, 
¿Cuál ejercicio? Debe ser este, quizás. El que le está dando problema. El, si no me equivoco, es la número 3. Sí, este está mal, mal, este. Mal programado. Bueno, se supone que ya lo corrigieron porque ya lo reporté. Déjeme ver. Vaya, según no, usted, pero, ¿cuál es el error? Porque there is, there is three distribution center y, y lo pango. Ajá. There is three, ahí es there are. There are. Porque estamos hablando de tres, plural. Entonces quedaría there are three distribution centers en el opango. Yes. Veamos si ya arreglaron esto. Ah, no, no lo han arreglado. No, porque yo lo he hecho y lo he hecho. Yo como usted como usted también nos dijo que podríamos buscar este otras otros errores. Por ejemplo, Ajá. si Corregir del plural o de pasarlo a singular. Entonces, en, la, en, los, en los que me salían siempre error, que era el 3, y si no me equivoco, el, el 3 y el 5, yo lo corregí varias veces de singular a plural. Mm. O, y, o sea, y yo siento que en los otros sí yo era la que me equivocaba porque dejaba un espacio o ponía mm. mayúsculas, cosas así. Pero ese yo lo he hecho. Sí, Yo siento este, que ya, hay ya, un error ya. acá y ya lo reporté Ajá. y no lo han arreglado acá como el error es eh, are. is verdad Ajá. tiene que ser uh, are, are. Yeah. entonces solo hay que escribir are en la respuesta aquí ah. ya va a ver ve ahí lo da bueno ah. lo han okay. programado mal no le han puesto la otra respuesta no le han puesto la long, la respuesta larga. Sí, solo el errorcito. Entonces, eh, ya lo reporté porque está generando confusión eso, ¿verdad? Sí, porque yo lo he, lo he hecho como 20 veces. Yo dije, ya no me voy a permitir uh -huh. esto corregir. <risa> <risa> ah, pero mire, qué bueno que ya está en, trabajando en la, en la plataforma. Sí, el, el sábado. El sábado trabajé, el sábado lo reporté, estuve reportando viernes y sábado en la mañana, viernes me dijeron que el sábado en la mañana íbamos a trabajar en eso. Uh -huh. eh, pasamos trabajando con eso, al parecer yo en algún momento de tanto intentar, intentar, eh, metí otro código, otro PIN uh -huh. y ese fue el error, entonces me... Me enseñaron cómo corregirlo y ahí fue donde. Y dije, yo aprovecho ahora porque <ríe> tengo tareas atrasadas. Sí, vaya. Entonces, este solo hay que poner R en la respuesta. Ok, teacher. Verdad. Va. Bien, ¿algo más? No, teacher, that's all for it. Hasta ahorita, that's all. Solo que le quería preguntar algo. ¿Dónde puedo buscar lo de las pronunciaciones correctas entonces el, en el pasado, en el ID? Porque yo sí, ese error sí lo he estado cometiendo. Por ejemplo, en work, yo work it, work Ajá. it, work it. Pero usted dice que no se pronuncia ED en los pasados. Entonces he estado buscando un mal traductor. ¿Cuál sería el correcto? O el más indicado para buscar una buena pronunciación. La verdad que yo creo que les di un diccionario el otro día, ¿verdad? el Word Reference, pero no sé si nos aparecerá en pasado. Word Reference. ¿Se acuerda o no es? ¿Cómo no? Sí, 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 sí. Estaba, yo sí, sí, esto. Sí. Eh, sí, lo recuerdo. A ver si aparece. Lo da en pasado la, la pronunciación. Ah, no, Worker me tiró. Ah, 
pasado. No voy a encontrar así la, la lo mejor es eh, vean, buscar la, la pronunciación de los verbos regulares en pasado. Puede buscar un videito de YouTube. Uh -huh. No. Sí, porque yo en eso sí, yo siento que yo eh, tengo ese error. Eh, la pronunciación la tengo work, work, speak, 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 uh -huh. pero la, en los otros sí siento que tengo eso de el ed, el, y sí, así le... me los he memorizado, así me los he aprendido. Ajá. Hay que borrar y volver. Sí, <risa> le recuerdo, no la, la clave es esa, los verbos que terminan en T, ¿verdad? Eh, creo que es T, mayormente es en, en T, esos, esa ED se pronuncia ID, como wait, waited, ¿verdad? Eh, de ahí los verbos que terminan con un sonido vocal, pero vocal no me estoy refiriendo al A, E, I, O, U, sino vocal que se usan las cuerdas vocales. Les decía como eh, los que veíamos ahí, happen. El verbo en presente es happen. Mm. ¿Verdad? Y uno pone las manos acá y se siente la vibración. Happen. Ese sonido final. Eh, o rain, por, por ejemplo, rain, rain, se usan las cuerdas vocales en ese sonido final. Eh, entonces, cuando es, es un sonido vocal, el ed se pronuncia como d, d, letra, como el sonido de la d, d, la rain. Rained. ¿Verdad? Happen, happened. Eh, y los verbos que terminan en un sonido que no utiliza las cuerdas vocales. Sonidos como walk. Ese sonido no usa las cuerdas vocales al final. Walk. Se llaman voiceless. Sin voz. Walk. La ED en ese caso suena como T. Walk. Walked. O el verbo stop. E ese último sonido. Stop. 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 No usa, la, no usa la, la, la garganta para hacerlo. Stop. Entonces stop. El, el ED en ese caso es stopped. 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 Y sí. Uh, de ahí como wash. Wash. No, tampoco usa las cuerdas vocales. Wash. Es como. Wash. El verbo es como que va para adentro. El, es el... un sonido que no usa las cuerdas vocales. Watch. Ajá, como watch también. Watch. 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 Esa es una manera de identificar. Pero como le decía, si tal vez nos cuesta identificar de primas a primeras, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo va a ser la pronunciación? Si es D, si es T, o si es ID. Es preferible equivocarse ahí que estar diciendo ED. Sí. ¿Verdad? ED. No. O se puede que usted diga, ah, I walked. Preferible equivocarse ahí que decir I walk it, I work it. No, eso sí, no para nada. Ese no es un error, ese es un horror. Sí, sí, <risa> verdad. Entonces hay que evitar eso. 
Usted puede buscar en YouTube eh, el, el, el verbos irregulares. Verbos regulares, porque estos son verbos regulares. Regulares. Exacto. Los irregulares, ya sabes, más complicado. Que cambio todo, tiene. cambia todo. Uh -huh. Y ahí solo de memoria también. Sí. ¿Verdad? Sí. Sí. Vaya pues, Yomara, gracias por volver. Gracias, teacher. Un placer. Ok, pase feliz noche. Un sueño. Gracias. Dios los bendiga. A usted gracias, y su familia. Igual. Gracias. Buenas noches.